Okay, today is Saturday the 30th of May and um, it's a little bit before 12 um, lunchtime and I'm just about to head out um, soon to head into the city to go to King George Square. There's a few protests going on in the square today for varying different groups and reasons. So I'm just going along to support all of them because I'm pretty much passionate about all of the agendas um, and all of the protests that are going on. Uh, there's protests against 5G, uh, protests against mandatory vaccines, protests against unlawful lockdowns. So I'm wearing my Mark Devlin I do not consent and I was never asked shirt. And I'm going to head in with my camera, the P trusty P900 and also my iPhone and iPod so that I've got a lot of battery power and hopefully I'll be able to document as much as I can and um, stay away from the boys in blue. Well, they're boys in black these days, aren't they? Um, and uh, yeah, just document it for um, everyone and just to be there as a show of um, support and um, consolidarity and to say that I do not consent to what is going on at the moment and um, the New World Order agenda that's, that they're trying to roll out. Okay guys, I'll uh, catch you later. Ciao! by bringing my children and grandchildren and future generations to fight for all of our future generations. And that's why we're all here today. Yes. But I think it's really important that we start with a minute's silence to pay our respects to all the freedom fighters gone before us who paved the way for us to be here today. So I'll hand it over to Tiger Boy. and we do acknowledge all sovereign nations. We are all sovereign, autonomous beings. So I'd just like to read a few words from my sister who couldn't make it today. 
She says, our family, along with many others, having been fighting the good fight here in this country for half a century. My parents and grandparents we've seen locked up and incarcerated for doing exactly what we're doing here today. Yeah. Standing up and fighting for what we believe in, fighting for what we know is right. And we just so happen to be a massive family, healthy, unvaccinated family for generations. Pro-choices and freedom fighters. We come from the oldest people on the planet, and there are very few of us who can declare we lived in peace, balance and harmony. Exactly what is needed right here, right now, more than ever. Yep. We lived through not only invasion and massacres, but ice ages, floods, fires, darkness. We know a thing or two about survival after the thousands and thousands of years of being in tune with Mother Nature and abiding by the natural laws of the universe as many of our brothers and sisters here today and Indigenous people around the world. It's such a humbling experience to be able to share these words on behalf of my family because we believe the role of Indigenous people, First Nations people, or sovereign autonomous people across this world is in fact to actually liberate not just ourselves but to liberate others from these oppressive values of greed and fear of the other because they are the things that ultimately are running the whole human race into the ground. Yeah. And as many of you here today know, this struggle is taxing and toxic. The attacks never ending and the corruption runs deeper than ever. But do you realise it would only take less than 10% of us to become self-sufficient for the elite's game to be over? Yes, yes. That's exactly how fragile their power structures are. And as observers, we feel the only way to win this once and for all is to hit them where it hurts the most, in the pocket. Yep. So through organised regular days of divesting, starting on the last Friday of every month or even weekly, for the hardcore change makers, global boycotts of mainstream media, shopping centers, chemists, banks, and big tech chains. Yes. I think that's the only way that we'll actually get our point across. But the true history of this country and many others is hidden from us all on purpose to keep us from tapping into our ancient wisdom needed to navigate these treacherous times. And as the ultimate humanitarians, the ultimate environmentalists, conservationists, strategic planners, healers, we feel it's time to return to our old ways. Time to sit with our elders, with our spirit guides. Because out of darkness comes light. And everyone... So now is the time to organise around things that matter to all of us, as we did before, before invasion over 250 years ago. So it's good that we can come together on common ground with mutual respect. And we pay our respects to the organisers. Thanks, brother, for all the hard work. I know it's not easy, um, especially in times like this. But let's remember those born before us. And I'll leave you with the quote that my grandmother Maureen Watson would say. Through your actions today, will you be an honourable ancestor to the children of the future? from each and every single one of you here today. Because just like the evening today shows that we are not going to sit and suffer in silence. We are going to stand and fight for our children, for your children, for future generations. And that is our opportunity. Because what is the opposite to divide and conquer? Unite. Unite. The opposite to that Western mentality that we've been brainwashed and con conditioned to, that Western mentality of divide and conquer, the opposite to that is what our people have known since millennia. It is to love and connect and unite, and that's what we're all doing here today. So thank you very much. What am I in your way? Everybody here at the back? We'll have to come close to the front and give us a big hug. <laughs> Man, I'm pumped. I thought I was going to be a lot more nervous, but I'm a little bit nervous, but mainly pumped. Yeah.
to end you and then prepare one else to also men to work on one. So everyone here has already done the hard part, which is getting off the bums and getting out here today to join the people as one. So congratulations to everyone here. That's the good news. The bad news is we have a monumental task ahead of us. Yeah. If you're here, you know we're in trouble. We are under attack. Not just Australians, but the people of the world. Yes. We are under attack. We're under attack by the sinister agenda of the private corporations and the families that control our governments. Our governments are under control. This whole scandemic is nothing but a tool being used to create fear through the mainstream media. Through the fear generated by the mainstream media, people are being persuaded to accept these illogical, irrational and absurd Ukrainian control measures. These control measures are not aimed at protecting us. Don't be fooled. They're aimed at the oppression and the total control of the people. Yeah. They don't care about us. Now I'm about to speak to the police. And as I look around, there are many of the, the police officers here today. We'd like to thank them for allowing us to exercise our rights in a peaceful fashion. Thank you guys. I'm sure if you treat them with respect, they will reciprocate. First, they'll like to know that their job is dangerous and, and that their job requires them to uphold the law. There has to be a certain amount of respect shown to anyone that upholds the law. But, but when that person finds that they are being ordered to suppress the people that are standing up for the future of our younger generations, or that they are being ordered to uphold a law that no longer makes sense, then that person has a moral dilemma that needs dealing with. Of Sydney's Brain and Mind Centre has forecast a financial and physiological toll 
and resulted in the election of 750, 1,500 deaths every year just from this. It's 15 times higher than the people who died from COVID. 15 times. So how are they managing to put off a lockdown like the entire planet? The mainstream media. Everyone has a TV, and that's their way in, to plonk their asses onto the couch next to their children. Tell they, literally, they literally use the TV to find a way into your living room. Take the TV off your wall and throw it in the trash, it serves you no purpose. The CIA's Operation Mockingbird was a project in which they manipulated the media to sway public opinion. It was brainwashing. Yeah. And it's still being used today, quite obviously. Yeah. I'd like to share this quote with you. The media is the most, the most powerful entity on earth. They have the power to make the innocent guilty and to make the guilty innocent. And that's power. Because they control the minds of the masses. Yeah. That was a quote from a prominent figure in the 60s, and it's more relevant today than it ever has been. Guys, regardless of all, regardless of all this, we are, the, we are in the singularly most pivotal time in human history, and we need to take the power back for ourselves. No one's going to do it for us. No one's going to do it for us. It comes down to each and every one of us here today, spreading the word and uniting as one. Forget your differences, stand together. And stand up and rise as the people need to rise right now. <laughs> to do this, we have to become unreliant on the system that we all have been persuaded to rely so heavily upon. And this has to start from the grassroots up, almost literally from the grassroots. We have to grow our own food and trade among ourselves without any money swapping hands. Money is the devil. Whether you live in a small city block or in the country, you can grow your own food. Trade it with your neighbours and be generous. How many people here would survive more than a month on their own if they closed the supermarkets tomorrow? Not, not me. And when I had this realisation, I went to meet my father in the my father-in-law in the high mountains of New Zealand. I told him I want to get myself a bow and an arrow and a gun, and I would learn how to hunt. Now he's been wanting to take me hunting for the last decade, and I've never really, really been interested. So when I told him this, no hunting. He looked at me with tears in his eyes. Mind you, he hadn't spoken he spoken exactly seven words to me in all of the ten, ten years previous. So he looked at me with tears running down his cheeks, and he states, "You are now my son." <laughs> oh, Jesus. And since I've had that realisation, I've been putting vegetable, I've been putting in vegetable patches, fruit trees. Well, actually, it's mainly been my wife. I just stand nearby and get up her when she puts the fruit trees in the wrong spot. We've dug, we've, dug, we've dug hundreds of metres of trenches to run irrigation so we can pump water from the river. And this is the whole reason why we moved further from the city and further away from work. So my family can have this more natural type of lifestyle. And those, decisions, those are the decisions we all need to start thinking about making. I'm fairly certain if we move, it will be into a multiple occupancy with other beautiful families that we trust and can build a proper community with. Because that's, what, that's what's life about, isn't it? Not earning bucket loads of money and buying gold chains and Ferraris. We've been lied to. We've been taught to worship materialism. They've turned us into obedient consumerists. What we need to be doing is restoring our connection with ourselves, with each other, with the land, and spiritually. This will bring true happiness and meaning to our lives. And depression and sickness will become a thing of the past. Again, guys, thanks for coming down. Thank you for listening to me speak. And we will win this battle. If We'll win this battle if we put aside our minute differences and learn to stand as one. In fact, that's the only way we'll win. I love you all.
Joshua. Now, just before I introduce the next speaker, a big part of these lockdowns around the world has been the accelerated rollout of 5G. Many people get angry at people who mention anything bad about 5G. They say, they say things like, there's nothing wrong with 5G, there's no proof that it's dangerous. Firstly, there are actually thousands of studies from professionals around the world that demonstrate there are many dangers regarding 5G technology. But that's not the main point. The main point is there is not one study, not one study, that your government can show you and prove that 5G is safe. There's not one study that the telco companies roll this crap out can show us to prove that it's safe. They can't show us because it's not safe, otherwise they'd be showing us. They're lying. Why would a government that cares about its people insist on rolling out a technology that has not been proven to be safe? Maybe, maybe they don't care about us. Choose our children's health over fast internet. But to speak really about this issue, I'm about to introduce my man over here, Bill. Hello everyone. It's good to be here. As my brother mentioned previously, many people have concerns about electromagnetic radiation, etc. that's associated with 5G or 5G, fifth generation technology. Electromagnetic radiation is really only the byproduct. The agenda is actually mass surveillance. One day, as the world depression deepens, people wake up to find the government has granted itself extraordinary powers due to an emergency. Freedom of movement, freedom of assembly, freedom of speech are gone. Censorship is ruthlessly enforced. Questioning the government or its actions is forbidden. Yeah. <laughs> this government works with a US-led company to track everyone in the country. This was Germany in 1933. And you don't have to look hard to see the same thing happening today. History does not repeat, but it does rhyme. And if we don't learn from history, we're, we're doomed to relearn it the hard way. In the trials after the war, the Germans were charged for state crimes against democracy. Politicians, press, police, public servants, military personnel, we're all guilty, and I was just doing what I was told was not an excuse. They say that the tracking and surveillance is for our safety. But the Germans were told this also. Who will watch the watchers? Who guards against the state crimes against democracy? We, the people. They say that they need to read everything that we do on the internet to catch the pedophiles. We say, why do powerful pedophiles walk from the highest courts in the land? Why then has a police report that names 28 high-ranking politicians, judges and lawyers as suspected pedophiles been made secret by the Royal Commission for the next 90 years? Who watches the watchers? Who guards against the state crimes against democracy? We the people. They say you don't need encryption if you have nothing to hide. 
we say you don't need to spy on me if I have nothing to hide from. <laughs> Who watches the watchers? <laughs> Who guards against state crimes against democracy? We the people. They say trust us with secret courts, secret cabinets, secret police, black budgets, and unlimited surveillance powers. We say, do I look like I was born yesterday? I know I have nothing to hide. What are you up to? First, they remove the means of free speech. Your videos are pulled from the internet and your posts are blocked. All messages are read. Everything you send, all calls on the phone listened to, all speech in public monitored. Then they make speech a crime. No criticism is allowed, no dissent. No one will hold them to account or oppose them. Who watches the watchers? We do. Who guards against state crime against democracy? We do. We the people. When this is done, will you stand there and say, I was just doing what I was told? No. Or will you stand and say, I did what I knew was right? Yeah. Now, we don't both face the erosion of our liberty of free speech. That has almost disappeared totally by itself. They are in a race to get the vaccine out before the virus disappears by itself. <laughs> Why would they be so keen to get a vaccine out for a virus that has proven to be much weaker than the flu that we experience every single year? The world leaders speak about the world being overpopulated and people like Bill Gates. People like Bill Gates are self-confessed globalists and often mention they are aiming to reduce the population. Could the COVID-19 vaccine be the final blow to the fertility of our future generations? The gold standard in science is a double-blind, inert placebo. No one vaccine in history of poisons has ever been, has ever used a double-blind, inert placebo. Inert meaning inactive, something like saline or sugar pills. When they test a new vaccine, they test it against another vaccine or an adjuvant. So when the vaccine they are testing returns the same amount of side effects, often including deaths in the trials, compared to the cold control group, they are able to say that there was no increase in harm, therefore it passes our safety tests. What a load of crap that is. The science behind vaccines is the most biased, corrupt and fraudulent science that the world has ever seen. In fact, the whole pharmaceutical industry is built on harm and repeat customers. They will never look to cure the underlying issue, but always look to sell drugs and treat the symptoms. To speak to you more about the vaccine industry is Anita Hathemeister, President of the Australian Vaccination Network. I think. Guys, this is amazing. to things like this because stuff the media, stuff the newspapers, this is where it's at. This is how people really are. I think we're all here because we're finally just done, aren't we? We're done with the lies. We're done with the insults. We're just done. We're not scared anymore. What else can they call us? I've been child abusers just for standing up for vaccine injured children. Yeah. Yeah. That's the society we currently live in. So now I don't want the old normal back. The old normal can burn 
same guy. We're bringing in the new normal. We had two little babies here crawling around the front just before and I thought that was so beautiful because that's why we're here. That's why I'm here. So I can look my kids in the eye and say, we did not go down without a fight. You're all making the world a better place and never doubt your strength and your power. They want you to be fearful. They want you to be scared of them. They are terrified of you. All you have to do is stand up. Look at this. There's a song I was singing all week about that, but it's a bit rude. <laughs> you probably all know it. Now this, you know, they've stopped. Like with the AVN, we can't get billboards anymore. They can't even get a billboard just with our website on it. They don't let us on television interviews anymore. Ten years ago, they did. Now they don't let us even have a voice. And they're censoring us on social media. But it's not because we're stupid and we're wrong. It's because they're terrified of the truth. Objectors Vaccination Fluoride Party. If there's any eye moppers out there with your t-shirts on, please come behind the stage. Stand up. Now is the time to stand up. Come forward with your teeth. Stand up. Let's get, let's get loud and proud. That's why we're here today, everyone. Yes? We've had enough. We're pissed off. Anita said, done. I'm going to go a bit harder than that. We're effing pissed off. We've had enough. It's time to sort this out. We've had enough of the Australian government. We've had enough of the rules, regulations, the red tape, the controlling, the belittling, the name calling. The media have to go. The government have to go. We need change and we need it now. to this new normal. You know why? Because it's abnormal. This is abnormal. We don't want to be tracked. We don't want to be chipped. We don't want to be vaccinated. We don't want to be controlled, regulated, isolated, segregated. No more. That is not normal. This is abnormal. Normal, abnormal is the new word. Start using that, guys. So, as a mum, I'm here standing up for my daughter's future, for the future of my friends, my family, my grandchildren. That is why I'm here. We are sick of it. We've seen our schooling, the indoctrination 
discrimination in our schooling system. We've seen our healthcare workers be coerced, intimidated, bullied, blackmailed and bribed to be vaccinated. And that is not good enough. And that is abnormal. It is not normal to be injected with mutated, modified GMO lab-grown disease. There is nothing normal about that. As a business owner, my heart bleeds for all those business people out there that have had to shut their doors for what? Hey? Disgusting. At the moment, Australia is 1.39 trillion dollars in debt. Have you got that? 1.139 trillion dollars in debt as of this morning. We have. We have over 1.6 million people out of work. We had last month 600,000 people lost their jobs. We are a mess. Australia is a mess. Our children are going to be paying for this for years and we've had enough. The borders, borders need to be open. Lockdown now. End the lockdown. This has been a disgrace to the country. We do not live in highly populated, dense populations. We are in a big, sparse country with a low population. It was totally unnecessary what had happened. We do not lock healthy people up. That's a disgrace. To all those people that want to visit their loved ones in a nursing home, I'm one of those. I can't go because I won't have the flu jab. And you know what I say? F you! F you! F you to the Australian government for stopping me from seeing my mother. My brother went to see my mother on Mother's Day and he couldn't get in because he hasn't had the flu shot. What an absolute disgrace. What the Shame. Absolutely shame. An old school friend of mine who won't have the flu vaccine is out of work now in amongst hundreds of thousands of other people. Enough! Enough! So what are we going to do? We're going to stand tall and proud. We're going to vote differently. We need to vote in good people. And guess what? We have 93 electorates. We can have 93 candidates running. I want you. I want everyone, every mum and dad, every normal person. Sorry, not normal. But every person in Australia to stand up and be a candidate. We actually want abnormal. So, stand up, be a candidate, vote the next election. We need help. We need you. We need people to start voting differently. We can no longer vote Liberal, Labor and Greens. Why? They're all the same. We're in this mess because... We're in this mess because of the Australian government following. They are mere puppets to the new world order, Agenda 21, Agenda 30. Enough. People have to get some balls, yeah? the truth. We want truth and transparency with our politicians. We've had enough. We've had enough of people that we haven't elected making the rules and regulations for us. I mean, who is Jeanette Young here in Queensland? Who, who elected her? Who elected her? No one. That's right, guys. And the people that we do elect, we meet, need to hold them accountable. Write your letters. Stand up. Do your protests like this. Do your signs. Make sure when you get an opportunity, you go speak to our politicians. They need to hear from you. It's you that runs this country. It's us. And together we... So, who are you going to vote at the Queensland state election? I'm going to repeat that. Who are you going to vote for at the Queensland state election? Who are you going to tell your family and friends to vote for? Sorry, let's do it again. Who are you going to tell your friends and family to vote for? Who 
is going to mop up the mess. I'm up. That's right. We're in it because we want to clean it up. We're passionate, we're dedicated, and we want to clean up this mess. I want a healthy, beautiful future for my child, and that's what I'm here to do. So, a few questions for the crowd. Are you powerful? Yes! Say that again. Are you powerful? Yes! Do you have the power to make change? Yes! Do you have the power to make change? Yes! Will you stand up and protect your future? Yes! Will you stand up and protect your future? Yes! Do you have what it takes to make a difference? Yes! Do you have what it takes to make a difference? Yes! Can we create a new government? Yes! Yes, we can create a new government. I'm part of it, looking at it. Will, will we create a new government? That's right. So, we stand for civil liberties. That means that you have the right to choose what kind of medical interventions you are going to accept in your body or your children's body. You have the right to drive on a road without having to pay tolls for a road you've already paid for. You have the right to electricity at a price that is reasonable and fair. That's right. electricity because we sold off our electricity powers and our food the electricity company. We have the ability to create electricity virtually free for you. Yeah. Why are we paying for power when we are the people who provide that power? So please, I won't hold any more of your time, but if you're interested, we've got a Facebook page, we've got a, a, a website, it's no tolls, not all, no hyphen tolls at all, or civil liberties party, civil liberties, civil liberties website, our civil liberties Facebook page. And if you want to, we're looking for people to stand for our party, people who want to be have integrity. And we, must, we do not accept financial donations from people trying to do their business. So please, we'd love to have you involved. Thank you for your time. Thank you for your Where there's wish there must be choice. Where there's wish there must be choice. Australian government, hear my voice. Australian government, hear my voice. Where there's wish there must be choice. Where there's wish there must be choice. Censorship media, rise and deceit. Censorship media, rise and deceit. This is why we take to the streets. This is why we take to the streets. Censorship media, rise and deceit. Censorship media, rise and deceit. We're taking our freedoms while we sleep. Censorship media, lies and deceit. Censorship media, lies and deceit. This is why we take to the streets. This is why we take to the streets. Censorship media, lies and deceit. Censorship media, lies and deceit. Listen to the people, we will speak. Listen to the people, we will speak. We'll pick up the rest of the day, I won't hold this any longer. Those are is going to be right down, so turn right onto Adelaide Street. And then left of the George Street, we end up all the way down on the end of George Street at Speaker's Corner, Parliament House. So we'll have a quick chat there. So this was King George Square where we had all the speeches. Now we're heading down to Speaker's Corner at Parliament House. So, um, yeah, I'll take some more video and some more shots down there. Australians here and anyone else that came to help support and everyone across the world who's going to all the different 
protests around the world. So proud of what we're all doing to stand up for our freedoms and our God-given rights. Amazing guys, I cannot believe how many thousands and thousands of people are walking the streets of Brisbane. This is overwhelming and awesome, absolutely frigging awesome. <laughs> Queensland, Australia. So 
please contact me. Come and see me or have a look at our website, our Facebook page. The Civil Liberties Party. Vote for us at the coming election. Thank you. We have the power, we need to stop the, the corruption, get rid of the corporate government and go back to the Australian Commonwealth Constitution. That is the red book, not the green one that's owned by the corporation. So everything that they have brought in, there has been nothing lawfully passed, no laws from 1977. Let that sink in. Nothing has lawfully been passed. No laws can be passed that go against the Constitution. It is common law. That's right. I've had a lot of time to do a lot of research. Right and I will say now, uh, that high now, dose yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Fire, my mother, I got a job on the 
GST is unlawful for a start. Under the Constitution, we can only be taxed for one thing. Right? Goods and services tax, that's two, two, two brackets, right? It's, it's unlawful. So, things like parking fines, they're all enforced by a council. The council have no authority to write tickets. So, people need to stop paying them. People need to stop paying council rates. And this is for people to do their own research. I'm not a law expert or anything else. But the difference between Ill illegal is company policy, unlawful is common law. So people talk about legal and illegal, that's all to do with corporations. Lawful and unlawful is common law. People's law. Do you have a, a website or Sorry? do you have a website or a Facebook page? No, I, I've got Facebook with my name, Adam Thorogood. Yep. I'm sure you'll find me, there's opportunity for people around the same name. Yep. So, um, like I said, I'm no expert, I don't represent anyone except for trying to encourage people to, to research. Yep. Their, um, there are lots of sites too, there's the Empower Movement, yeah. and there's, there's Know Your there's, Rights. There's people like Wayne Blue, like he's, yeah. he's phenomenal with what he does. Yep. They spend, they, they, they do, um, Liability Mate, I think he is on um, yeah, YouTube. On, on YouTube. Yeah, yeah, that's correct. Yeah. So Wayne and Yolanda Glue, they're both on, on Facebook and they're, they're, they de dedicate their lives to, to trying to get yeah. rid of the corruption. Um, like Know Your Rights group and all that, they help a lot with people being able to fight unlawful fines and those sort of things. Yeah. Um, yeah. yeah. And places to, to get information from. Yeah, like, we really need to get the information out to as many people. Exactly right. Yeah. And, and places like this is one of the only places you can do it because and speaking to people. Yeah. And this is the thing which we're like, I say it's, people go, oh, no, you, you know, you're a conspiracy theorist, whatever else. It's like trying to convince people that the sky's not blue because yeah. you've been taught from the day you were born that this is the way it is. Yeah. Right? And so whether it's vaccinations, your doctor's told you, you're supposed to trust your doctor, your doctor's supposed to help you with your health. Right? They've taught you from day one that if you get a vaccine, you should get certain medications that essentially bring you back around to the doctors. Yep. Apple a day keeps the doctor away. Where that yeah. comes from? That was before, before all this medication. So then we've got, it's like trying to convince, like I said, trying to convince people the sky's not blue, and that's because school teaches you that you should follow these sort of rules. Yep. School teaches you should learn a certain way. People don't realise that the way driver's licence is written is, is dog Latin, which is yep. illegal. All capitals. Yeah, exactly yep. right. Yep. It's not, not the English language and you can refuse any documentation that has capital letters. Yep. So if it's not proper English, then not correct English, then it's not it's not a language that you can read. Yeah. So any legal documentation which is considered legal documentation in Australia, you'll find capital letters. Yeah. Great, thank you. You can send it back saying I can't do well, it. I think that was a very successful day today here in Brisbane. Um, thank you so much for all the Aussies that came out today. Um, so proud of everybody and we need to keep doing this. This square was jammed, packed, thousands and thousands of people. So don't believe what the mainstream media tell you, that there was only a couple of hundred people. We had probably up to 6,000 people at one point, I would say, um, here.
and anticipation. Now we've lost our patience. Yeah, you're trying to kill our constitution to kill our pride. Now the wood is dry. Yeah, don't tread on us. We're not. your slaves don't tread on us you cross the line soon you will be for all your cries you keep on pushing us into desperation you lonely few our determination Trey!